You are watching Audio Tree Live. The date is Tuesday, May 31st. We are so pleased to have with us in the studio this evening, Yoni and Getty. Candle, you had gift right in your sandal. Cool and chic, yeah, candlelit hope. You had more hidden than Nintendo. I got some from the shit I'm saving. Me and my woman, cuz we got cravings. Black ass night, Baltimore like Ravens. I'm Wes Craven, Freddy Krueger. Scratch your back, I got computers. Price is right, got your dog neutered. Accident, let's go to Aruba. I thought I did you a favor. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. I see my kid only sometime. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. I feel like that, but ain't really true Well, it's sorta true, what can you do? Take your ass back to the crib Buy a new cube, inside is big Get a job and work at Avis Outside, inside, pulling favors Watch to break, they going to labor Try your best with your behavior Apes is cages, these dark ages Catch me outside in some Asics When I drive, I do not chase it I had before, and that's very dangerous Outside, inside, in the lunch line Outside, inside, in the lunch line I see my kill only sometime outside, inside, in the lunch line. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. I see my kid only sometime outside, inside, in the lunch line. This chick here, she had my last name. Ride on streets, I go on both lanes. Go for broke main, golden cocaine. Take the low main, get the. Hey, yo, where do you go after midnight? How come you look strange in moonlight? Poltergeist, I'ma say it twice. Lay it all down like oil pipes. Gifts like Christmas, unwrap ribbons. Peace to the gift. Been straight up stinking. They got dope hidden in they Lincoln. I got dope hidden in my A6. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. I see my kid only sometime. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. I see my kid only sometime. Outside, inside, in the lunch line. Best friend, why she draws pictures of me. 
My best friend is Umar Rashi. One day we were walking near Paddington Street. My best friend is Umar Rashi. Yeah. He asked, Was I trouble? I said, Trouble as can be. He told me, Stop and take a knee. He told me, Stop and take a knee. So I kneel and I kneel to the sun that went down. He said, Stand up and look around. He said, stand up and look around. He said, stand up and look around. Fuck! He told me! This is the crib, struggling, dead in, ride a damn bubbly Ain't it all burgundy? Ain't it all lovely? Ain't it all bubbly? Sleeping on sheets, kids at the crib, sleeping on cleats I was on and out to beats, having a mimosa Alcohol a bit of dicks to bring us all closer Ferrari Testarossa, old ass poster Tight Jamaican make a search, soaking wet on a sofa Walk around Holland with a woman named Rhoda She bought me loafers The Ambrosia The Ambrosia, thought I told ya from overdose to the Baltic Sea, gentleman thief to the helpful chrome, pudgy belly, jelly scone, jelly scone, call my home. Let me eat this scone, let me charge my phone, but let me eat this scone. All of, yo, flat life, harlequin, harlequin, argument, cable net, cardigan, her apartment. You're sentimentally, give in to me, give in to me. Tell you once, I tell you twice. Is ice, gotta catch a flight Call me ghost, yeah, not quite And I'm a poltergeist Tell you once, I tell you twice Sweetie, babe, I'm cold as ice Gotta catch a flight Call me ghost, yeah, not quite And I'm a poltergeist Who I get to make up for time lost stuff to rap Press for watch, connect the dots I'm rolling yarn, I sent you socks I grow my arms Time ain't forever People just don't change You get a good idea or a general range There you have it, ain't no magic You can't turn a horse to a rabbit Gentlemen, they try to nab my ID Helpful crone, they try to warn me Jelly scone, they taste so lovely You try to change me I time travel, Allegheny I bought you a leather saddle I bought kids a couple posters And a model Testarossa Baby, this will bring us closer In Rotterdam, I toast Mimosa Me and Rhoda rub my shoulder I gave her a little cobra I found her shirt in the sofa Back to you, I'm Kaza Sosa In my dream, thought you were Rhoda I made dinner, yakisoba Purple posters and the bathroom Won't all this shit bring us closer Won't all this shit bring us closer I told you once, I told you twice Sweetie pie, I'm cold as ice I gotta catch this flight Say I'm a ghost, well yeah, not quite I'm a poltergeist Back home, the gift I sent her sucks Standing by the door, wrote us back at school I received my new ID
some water with your wine, young Davy. Take some time, Madeline. Cool it out. I'm tired of smashing glasses up the front steps of this house. At the women's Christian youth at the edge of town And I'm drowned in crown You're out of bounds I need you now You're crashing on the couch at your coach's house We're headed south I'm down and out It's been a cold autumn December In our queen bed I still sleep on my side You went on a cruise to the Bahamas The steps are full of glass I still get angry It has been a cold autumn Our wedding band in the sand Sometimes I cannot even remember It has been a cold, a cold December It has been a cold You're watching Audio Tree Live. We are here in the studio with Yoni and Getty. Thanks for being here, guys. Um, so those songs were from your latest album, Testarossa, which is a concept album about a musician who goes on tour to see his family kind of fall apart back home. Uh, his wife starts getting with his best friend, right? He can't see his kids, stuff like that. Um, now, I read that it was based on a screenplay that you guys collaborated on. Was that a movie that you actually finished, or did it start off as a screenplay, then slowly become an album? Uh, it was a screenplay that me and Yoni had, like, talked about when we were driving. You know, we did, like, a lot of driving together. Yeah. Like, a little yeah. too much driving, actually. So then we started to come up with, you know, these things. Mm -hmm. So we got off, and then Yoni actually wrote it. Oh, yeah. And, but... <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, like like movies are harder to make than albums. He didn't like the way I wrote it. <laughs> so, he, so thought, we, he thought it sucked. I mean, I mean, you tried. It was a good idea, at least. What was bad about it? What didn't you? I'm like not. About look, it? I'm not. I mean, a, I'm not a dialogue. Uh, I'm not a dialogue <laughs> writer necessarily. You know, where I tried. I you know, it's not. It's, it's that's not what comes naturally to me. Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, yes, it didn't come naturally. It was really long, like <laughs> like the. Uh, it just played long. So so then we decided just to do the soundtrack to like the key mm-hmm. moments. I mean, he did have structure to it. Yeah, appreciate it, but yeah, you know. Just didn't work as a movie. It's bad. No. Well, I don't know. We haven't. We didn't try to shoot it. I mean, we. I feel like we could punch up the script and probably make it work as a movie. I feel. Yeah, I mean, maybe so. Maybe so, like, would you like to film it? I mean, if given the budget and the opportunity to do so, you're offering me the budget. <laughs> yeah, yes, I'm, I'm yes, not very sir. rich. Can but we yeah. shake hands on that? Yeah. Of course, yeah, across the room, like that. I'll uh, I'll call my uncle, Mr. Spielberg, and Good. we'll yes, get right on that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're joking now. You're, that, that, you, that, you're, I'm totally joking. Oh, Kyle yeah. Spielberg. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my uncle Kyle Spielberg, uh, who's a different last name than me. And um, I know you guys came in, you know, for the tour more or less, but um, how much did you know about it as far as being a movie goes? Like, can you parse out the plot and everything when, you know, reading along with the songs or <laughs> not really? I just read the music that's in front of me. I don't know anything about this movie, this movie business, <laughs> but I want in. Read the charts, Doug. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's, how linear would you say the album is from front to back? Like, I listened to it pretty closely, and like you said, I could definitely pick up on on key moments and different characters. But um, to the casual listener, do you think it tells a complete story in a linear fashion? I no, no, not at all. <laughs> no, no, it's it's not linear. No, it's not linear. You you get little moments during the the album, um, but I mean, it's not. You know, it, it it's not like. You, you know, you get glimpses of, like, sort of we'll take on occasionally the character of Davey or the character of Madeline speaking, mm-hmm. but it's not like their voice speaking. It's sort of like their voice speaking through Dave or through me, um, you know. Um, it's kind of like just a soundtrack that would accompany the movie. Like if, you know, when when uh, uh, Judgment Night came out or whatever, there's mm-hmm. some songs that, you know, they go along with the movie, but they don't necessarily you know, uh, sort of explain all the action in the movie. Yeah, it's like music from and inspired by the movie. Yeah, so yeah exactly, yeah. Like, yeah, like on the soundtrack. We, we, we like, would have, like, I would have liked to have the script come with it, mm-hmm. but, I mean, it was very long. Budgetary like, constraints. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I mean, it would be like a... Maybe you've seen uh, the, the, the Bible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, What's that? In this, you know, like in the, if you and you know, sending the Torah or whatever. Yeah. I wrote it on parchment, actually, on a scroll. So oh, we had that's it. Cool. You know, it, was just, it was actually, yeah, it was, ended up being a mile long. And it's, I mean, it's not far off, but I mean, like, I appreciate what you did. Again, I, I don't want to knock because you did put in a lot of effort, but you know. Just didn't work. Well, maybe for like a record store day release or something, you can include the whole parchment. The scroll. Yeah, just yeah. rolled up and yeah. yeah. I mean, it would have to be like a box set, I guess, for it to. For it to like, right. fit in there, you know, right? Yeah. yeah, or just you just buy the whole tabernacle with it, and they bring that. Yeah, tabernacle is a great word, by the, the way. The priest comes with it to sort of bless the, the script as you. Yeah, this is getting really pricey, even just for an album, let alone a movie. Could know, be for, costly. Could yeah, be costly. But though. but also unique, you know. I don't think anyone else is. It's doing an elite buy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. Um, something that comes up a lot in the album is this: uh, the word "polder guy." See, Davey keeps referring to himself as that. Could you guys elaborate on that a little bit? Like, how is a touring musician like a poltergeist? Um, uh, because because you know he's not there, mm-hmm. and um, his lack of being there sort of haunts haunts him and his family. He still, he still sort of reaches in from from another dimension in a way, you know, from from the road. He somehow reaches in and rattles things up. Yeah. Regardless, you know. Yeah, whether through a phone caller or through the music itself. Like a, or gifts, like he'll he'll like send like gifts back home. You know, like that's his mm-hmm. thing. Like thinking he's really doing something. The model cars, right? That's yeah. like one of the yeah. things that, that comes in. Yeah. Um, you see one of those model cars on the front of the album also, and it looks like it's almost taking off. Is what did you guys use for the fumes below? Was it like cotton candy? Just cotton. Or? Yeah, it, looked, it has like a really, really neat effect. I think. Do either of you guys collect cars? Like, do either of you have a like a model Tesserosa or anything like that? Uh, I, I, I definitely, as a kid, I, I, I do believe I made a. Uh, I don't know if I made a Tesserosa. Uh, I mean, I know I made a Jaguar. I made some, a couple of sports cars, mm-hmm. old sports car classics. Yeah, would you prefer? I, don't know, I guess monogram or Ravel. Man, I'm not a big car guy to be oh. honest. So I, I, that's that's like getting in specific in a good way. Because yeah. I was gonna ask, do you like sports cars? better than, I don't know, like a Cadillac or a muscle car or something like that? Do you have a preferred vehicle? I'm personally not a car guy. You know, Dave, he knows a bit about cars more than I do maybe, but... I mean, you know, yeah, I I like a nice sports car, nice Porsche. Yeah, (laughs) a nice Porsche, yeah. When I imagined myself as a kid, Mm -hmm. I always thought I'd drive a Porsche, but... There's still time. I don't know. I don't know. (laughs) I was talking to Doug about it the other day, and he's like, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, just not going to happen. Doug, do you have a Porsche? 
No, no. Uh, but I do have a Buick, and it's like it's close. basically the Porsche of uh, of uh, American made <laughs> of regular cars. Sedans. Well, yeah, if, uh, that's a stretch. If that, you think about yeah. DNA chains or whatever, it, it's uh, you know, human is We're very close related. to chimpanzee or whatever. Mm-hmm. Porsche is pretty damn close to Buick, really. So if, if you went to a car museum, I'm sure they and they had like an evolution of cars. It would probably be yeah. like that. You would Porsche see, and then the burgundy Buick that yeah. Doug has. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's a solid burgundy. With Doug in it, too. Yeah. Yeah. Aubergine, but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do, do, now, you live in Chicago, Dave. Do you drive a car? Do you use CTA mostly? I drive, yeah. Yeah? What kind of car do you have? A Porsche. It is a Porsche, man. <laughs> what color? What kind of paint job? It's a, it, it's a black Porsche. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't drive a Porsche, but I drive a vehicle. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do any of you guys have, like, any kind of luxury sports car, like, in the bed? Has anyone driven one at all, even? Uh, uh, I've any? never. No, not nothing luxury, no. Uh, yeah. Uh-uh. Matt has so. a, a solid Subaru. That's a solid like, car. Like a 2017 brand new Subaru. It's really nice, dude. I think the Subaru <laughs> would be a lot more reliable than a Porsche, right? I mean, if you're driving around the city or like even the suburbs, I think, I don't know. I don't think reliability reliable is like, what you're looking for. Like right? unsexy? That's what I hear when I right, yeah. hear the right. word reliable. <laughs> exactly. Like, oh, yeah, practical. <laughs> it's uh, dry me out real fast. But that'll, that'll, I think that has more longevity. Like you'll live longer if you have a Buick. Or, right, but what yeah. kind of life is that? Uh, yeah, but you're all you're musicians. I think a musician driving, you know, a Buick is still cool. It's like two two different worlds coming together in like a really really neat way. I think um, when when adapting this from you know this screenplay or script or whatever, how beholden were you guys to, I guess the existing material? Like I know it's not linear, but were you free to come up with stuff that wasn't on page or did everything pretty much come from the page as far as the lyrics? It pretty go? much came. From, it came from yeah, the pages, yeah. but we also, I mean, you know, we we, we sort of. Took, took we, liberty. We took liberty, and we ta- we also talked a lot about uh, who these people were, mm-hmm. stuff that beyond what was on the page, too, just their backstories and how they grew up and who they, you know, that sort of thing. And I think feel like that stuff, the vibes at least, and the uh, motivations went into the uh, into the songs as well. Yeah. Definitely. Um, are you guys a fan of concept albums in general? No, like, I, hate <laughs> I hate them. I hate them, actually. Well, the thing I noticed about this one that's cool is that... Well, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one way <laughs> or the other. You're going to take that back. Um, well, most concept albums, in my experience anyway, seem to be more fantastical and surreal and these kind of big, lofty ideas. And what I really love about this one is that it feels much more everyday and just more common, you know? And was it's that- our actual lives veil- hidden between the thin veil, behind the thin veil of, <laughs> of uh, metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> of poltergeist and whatnot. But, and so was, was that something, though... Uh, that was pretty conscious. We were like, you know, we don't want to make like a Jesus Christ superstar, like the Who's Tom. We, wanted, yeah, we, did, we, we didn't want it too, too literal. It was more like, like we can watch the movie in our head a little bit and mm-hmm. this song would play at this part. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. no, exactly. Well, that's awesome. Well, guys, we're so happy to have you here. Um, let's go into that last song, shall we? You got it. Oh, okay. Sure. Or do you want to talk more? We can talk more. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> right. Cool. Hey, Matt. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. All right. I tell my heart your seminal. I tell my heart your seminal. I make you feel your seminy. I tell my heart your seminal. I'm gonna bound you up your bouncy. You're gonna build a bank of all kisses. I tell my heart your seminal. I make you feel my chemistry. Huh? What's up? Huh? What's up? Uh huh. I'm gonna power 
hard top you Go on canopy me, I won't stop you To the heart, your similar I mean you feel your symmetry Huh, what's up? Huh, what's up? Uh-huh Are you rough or are you proper? Take a ride right on my chakra We can relax and have some lobster You look good just like your father Tell me what's your sign, you Aries Let's pretend that we got married Let you pop my second cherry Let you be my holly berry Tallahassee, FSU You, you look good, I'll leave your you who In that dress, you Yokohama Talk to me like we do drama Hug your daddy, touch your mama You look good just like your father Let's pretend that we got married Let's pretend that we got married Huh, what's up? Huh, what's up? Uh -huh. You're watching Audio Tree Live. We have been here in the studio with Yoni and Getty. Their latest album, Tesserosa, is out right now. You can grab it. They are currently on tour as well. Um, if you want to support the band or support us, please give a shout out on social media and download the stream. We want to thank everyone in the booth, the sound engineers, for making us sound good. We want to thank lights and cameras for making us look good. And as always, we want to thank you for watching. Thank you so much. Thanks to the band for being here. And uh, we'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having us.